If you want to create your own gradient with a picture that you have, you can even use a really common piece of software like Microsoft Paint. So here I have Microsoft Paint open and I'm going to open up a file. We're going to do this picture from Module 4 that looks at Seaside, Oregon on a beautiful September evening. So color gradients tend to be really nice when we use a range of colors that perhaps occur in the same scene in nature. And there are many ways we can look at this. We could look at the shades of blue of a mountain lake. We can look at the sky in just about any context. We can look at the different colors we may see in a scene of the forest. But in this case, sunset. So I'm going to use the eyedropper function, which shows up in our tool pane, also called the color picker, but the icon is of an eyedropper. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to click somewhere on the screen. So maybe in this really dark part of the sky, I'm going to click. And now that color actually shows up here where it says color one. And if I want to get the specific information about that color, I can click edit colors and then this dialog box comes up and this color here is the one that I had selected with the eyedropper. So here we have the hue, saturation, red, green, blue values for that color. I can add it to my custom colors so that if I want to come back to it, I can get that information. Now maybe I want to get a color for the other end of my two color color gradient. Maybe this nice sort of golden color would be a good opposite. So I click that and again that shows up here under color one and I can click on edit colors and here I can get the specific information about that color that I can then input into Tableau